Live from the East Lansing Underground, this is 88.9 bringing you The Basement. I'm Liv. And I'm Griffin. We are here tonight with an amazing band that I've had the pleasure of seeing play live one time before. This is Four More Shapes. Would y'all take a second to introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Gavin. I'm Clementia Kelly. My name is Alex. And I'm Cole. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for coming to join us in the studio today. Um, why don't we show people what you guys are all about? Oh, yeah. So we get to rock right out of the game. Yeah, let's hear it. Come on. <laughs> Here comes rock. <laughs> Of it all. Christmas 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 of it all
more shapes that was amazing you guys that was thank amazing you, you. all right now first and foremost i cannot get my eyes off of this instrument look i mean look at this bass can we put a spotlight on it right now thank you. look at that it's just it, it's enchanted blue. it's blue glittery Sparkly, yeah. it just reminds me of like cinderella or like kesha i just i'm obsessed <laughs> with it kesha. do, oh, yeah. do you want to tell that. us where you got this instrument yeah i actually got this at elderly instruments which was in lansing so oh, okay. yeah i got it it was like a kind of a christmas gift to myself so wow yeah. and i was like it's my first ever bass my first like ever personal bass because the bass that i was playing up until like more like two months ago was actually Alex's bass. So oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, so I've on the market for a bass. Gotten to like <laughs> talk to you for like really, really briefly before we got to chat. And yeah. you're actually like really new to writing and performing music, right? I mean I'm pretty new to performing. I feel like mm -hmm. I've been writing for a long time, like since I was little, but I hadn't really started like taking it seriously until Honestly, until I was probably in like my early 20s, like 20, I don't know, 21, until I dropped out of college. <laughs> and that's when I was like, wow, music, music's nice. But Maybe I should do that. Who, who are Four More Shapes? Yeah, we, we are Four More Shapes. We are um, group guys and a girl. <laughs> and we like to ride. We like to play music. And yeah, I don't know. We're also just pals. Yeah. So which pens. came first? Did the band come first or have you guys known each other all for a while? Well, these two have known each other. Cole and Alex have known each other for a while. Um, yeah. But we, we league, Cole and I yeah. met at, um, at Urban Beat, which is in Lansing, too. We met there at like an open mic. And then he met Gavin and then was like, you guys should all come over. And then we started playing <laughs> together. So, yeah, but these two have been friends for a long time since little league would little you league. would you like to introduce yourself everyone yeah uh i i like to play guitar i'm gavin i uh, play a lot of rhythm guitar and my instrument is actually cole's i'm borrowing his guitar he's lending me I this i gave it to him but he doesn't want it like <laughs> it's too it. valuable like, i was like hey I, I really want you to have this it's a great asset for you to keep though do you like it so are you it's getting some use right now though which is good <laughs> yeah i'm clemmy Clemmy Kelly. Yeah, I play bass, then among other things. <laughs> among other <laughs> yeah. things. Yeah, you write as well, too. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Did Actually, you make jewelry? I do, yeah. I made my, my little necklace and my earrings here. It's, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I was excited about those. Yeah. yeah. I'm Alex. I, I kind of just ride. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of what I'm here for, is just to, just to ride. You got a new job. It's a vital role. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I'm Cole Smith, and uh, I don't know. I like lately. I've been liking to play Madden, and uh, <laughs> but it's been really tough for me because, yeah, I've just not been playing well, and yeah. so it's been it's been real tough. So I've been just resorting back to the music. So, yeah, I like yeah. to play Madden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope anyone knows what Madden is in here. Oh, Madden. Ma I 100% yeah. thought that you had been saying men. Like, you like to play men. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yep. I mean, that too. Yeah. Well, maybe not. Sometimes, you but mostly men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, that had to have been awkward for you to hear, hear it like that. Well, I was, okay. I was between two possibilities. First, I was like, maybe I'm just really culturally unaware. And I don't know. This is like slang. Like a this thing. is a TikTok trend. And I, I don't know what it's referring to. But we're going to play it like I do. The second alternative was like, you just... You just like to do a little, a little manipulating, and maybe that's a pastime, and we don't judge about that. Yeah, yeah, no, it's nothing like that. It's real, it's real simple. I just like to play Madden. Yeah, <laughs> L Liv and I don't know much about basketball. If it's, that's, a it's actually football. football. Oh. <laughs> they have soccer too, don't they? Or is no, it just Madden? Madden? No, Madden is just football. It's because it gets the name from John Madden, which was like a, a football coach. Like oh, in his, in his and then day. he made an empire. Yes. Yeah, he made a Madden Empire. <laughs> would you make a song called Madden? <laughs> I could. It would be a, like a thrash song, probably. We did. Okay, how would it go? A real heavy song, because that game brings out a lot of emotions. <laughs> it makes me so deep. angry. Yeah. <laughs> but we did do a jam the other night that I was talking about, 98 Lamar. 
<laughs> Which yep. he's just a football player. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, do you want to tell us? <laughs> um, back to music, not sports. I mean, sh- shout out to sports, but yeah, yeah. Um, we're here, we're here, we're here for head. the music. Um, if you can tune in another time, to listen to sports. Anyways, um, do you want to tell us a little bit about the name Four More Shapes? Yeah. What does that mean? This is a bit more for this guy because he came up with the name. I would say it's kind of just what we are. I mean, we, we're all shapes, but exactly, and we're just four more of them. And yeah. Like we make music, and that's something that we do. But everybody does something, and okay, all right, I mean, yeah. Well, what's what the we story? Are. Like, how did you sell this to the rest of the band? Like, guys, this is who we are. Well, this I is what a, we're gonna be. Well, I had a list of names, and this just happened to be one of them on there. <laughs> and it was one among three or four that was generally well received. Mm-hmm. But it, of the ones that I came up with, it was the one that probably had the most substance substance to it for me. So. We, I'm glad that it it sat well with everybody else. We I were like once called Zombie Dust. <laughs> That's yeah. also a beer. Very different Which vibe. Which is also a beer, and it's just a little bit. I don't know. It's kind of cool, but I liked Zombie Dust. <laughs> she really but, liked it, but but I like Four More Shapes too. I feel like Four More Shapes feels more like unique more. to us. Yeah. yeah, it definitely fits your brand and aesthetic and sound. So. Yeah, it's so like funky and soulful, and I just don't think that's something that you hear super frequently at least in the michigan scene where did that come from um i feel like we all have like a pretty i mean combined we have a very wide range of influences so it's just like but there's three of us are the main songwriters like well i'd say cole's the main songwriter and then gavin and i both write and alex like writes too but he hasn't brought a song to us yet but i'm sure maybe one day that will happen too (laughs) but yeah we just like all have Lots of I don't know. That's that's a tough question to answer, honestly, because I, I feel like, like it's very that nuanced. specific one. Like, I I got the idea from like a Pavement song. I don't know if you know the band Pavement, but it's like a '90s band, and they don't sound anything really like that. So, but I was just trying to be cool. Like, I feel like all my songs, I don't sound very cool. I sound just more like just a cute <laughs> like little, a little guy, guy. Yeah. just a little guy riding around. <laughs> but that one, I was like. Man, I want to be cool, you know. And so, <laughs> so <laughs> that's uh, that's how that song came to be. I yeah. guess. So all of you like bring something to the band, and all these different influences take you totally different places. Um, I'm excited to hear how that manifests in another way. Uh, would y'all bring us towards our next song, and that's Donna tonight? Donna. Yeah. Donna. Donna this nice. is a McDonald original, written by Gavin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't talk because I got to get ready to sing. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna sound beautiful right here. Did that cut out? There it is. Can you hear? Yeah, am I in am I in the little speaker? I can hear you. Yeah, we're on the waves here.
That was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I might have missed this. Who is Donna? You know, yeah. <laughs> I, I was we thinking, honestly, I was thinking about it while we were just playing it. I think I'll name a pet in the future Donna so oh. that it'll somebody will have a name. So it'll be like a dog or something. A dog. But I like the alliteration. I say, how did Donna do? So like, that's just the name. That's the name you choose. And it's nice to have a song name that is just a, a, a name, you know? That's just lovely. So, you know what? Oh, left. So is Donna like... Is this a character or do you guys draw from the experiences in your life? Are you more storytellers or is writing your emotional release? Like, what does that process look like? And of course, there's three of you that write or four. So I'm sure it varies a lot from one to the next. I think it's funny when you write something and then you like read into how it could be a part of your life. So I've thought about it so many times while I'm playing. I, I do think of specific people. It's a lot of relationship stuff. I feel like my songs are a little bit, they're a little bit down and like a little bit mysterious and you, you're just thinking about a love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like I usually write for more like a most emotional release, but it definitely depends. Like I've been trying to play around more with like stream of consciousness type writing and I do that a lot in my like journaling and that kind of thing. I feel like that's just sometimes it doesn't really have to mean anything where like mm -hmm. it's more open to interpretation, you know, by the listener. Cool. I I noticed um looking into your guys' uh streaming platforms, I'm or just social media, I am obsessed with your cover art and just the art direction you guys have overall. Who is the artist of the Thank group? You. And you yeah, I did yeah. that specific one. I, yeah. I love it. it. I think it's it's perfect. You know, and it's it's really hard as like um an up and coming band to you know have solid uh visuals and mm -hmm. it's amazing i really like it tell me about this process is do you create art outside of music i lot? do i have like a decent catalog of just sketches and paintings that i have cool. and i take like photo software and i just blend a bunch of things together like a bunch of my own pieces so every piece that i come up with that i have in mind for cover art or artwork in general for music is usually just an amalgamation of like my catalog of art that i have well, I think yeah. it's amazing. Well, thank you. Oh, we gotta switch around here for this what? next song. Oh, for this next yeah. song. <laughs> um, are all four of you from Michigan? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're all from Michigan. Yeah, Where in the mitten? Um, I'm from Marshall, Michigan. So it's like, okay. it's like a, I don't know, southwest <laughs> Michigan, I guess. Battle Creek area, kind of. Yeah, I'm from the Flint area, a town called Flushing. Mm-hmm. And that's Cole and I both went to Flushing. I was a uh, I was born in Lansing, so I've been hanging around for a while. Okay, so north, east, south, and west. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I've seen y'all playing shows all across the state. You're pretty active and you're pretty mobile as well. Um, but from the sounds of it, it's a pretty new adventure for all of you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we just all started playing together last March. March. Yeah, March, April. Yeah, and you really jumped into the deep end. Um, with all of the the touring and and playing the blind pig to mm -hmm. co-ops to all of these other shows um that is a lot of stage time and to jump into it like pretty pretty quickly what is the hardest part for you guys about going on stage uh -huh. it's a skill for sure i think i had never had any experience performing anything in front of people so that was a wall to break down right away but 
when you're collaborating with people and you actually enjoy what you're doing, that facade kind of crumbles pretty quickly. So.